VTR 523-90. Pilot number three, Snyder Koretsky Martin Production. Photo finish. In 1990, America's favorite fast food made a sizzling debut in what Russian city? If you answered Moscow, then you're ready to play Photo Finish! Sometimes a picture is worth $1,000 and sometimes a brand new car. So far, our returning champion, Brian, has won $4,500. Welcome back today, Brian. Thank you. Didn't get the car yesterday. Uh, no. But what the heck, we'll try for it again. Try again. All right, once again, welcome to the show. Now let's meet your challengers for today, and they are KC. KC, I understand that uh, you and your husband are doing some work on your house right now. Yes, we are. We're doing a major remodeling. We're adding a room and expanding the bathrooms and just... Fixing up real nice. All yes. right. So you better win a lot of money because he's going to need a, a nice home to yes. rest in. <laughs> All right. Peter, welcome to the game today. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a music contractor, uh, which is similar to a caterer, except we work with musicians rather than food. Oh, great. So I guess you have to deliver that music fresh every day. Uh, yeah, we have a truck that brings it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good luck to all of you. As always, Brian, our champion, is in control of the orange board. And as always, our contestants in the first round will choose their own categories, make it a little bit easier for you. So, Brian, let's take a look at the photos and the categories that you have chosen. You've selected Whistlers, Space, and Golden Boys. And as we move over to the blue board, KC today selected Nickname. Motown and science. And last but definitely not least, Peter, on your green board, today you have chosen the categories its relatives, monuments, and the Senate. All right, now when you're in control, you'll select a category and a screen. I'll ask a question about the picture in that screen. Whoever buzzes in with the correct answer earns money and control. Now, when you're in control, you must select from your own board. You'll try to get three photos in a row, either up and down, across, or diagonally. When you answer correctly, your own symbol, either a triangle, a circle, or a square, will go in the correctly answered frame, all right? Now, if you answer incorrectly, we'll also show a negative sign. That means that that is blocked off completely, just so you know, all right? The triple exposure is what we've just been talking about. That will give you double the money, and we'll talk more about that later in the game. But right now... Let's begin the round. Each question in this round is worth $250. Also want to remind you, too, that if you have money on your board and you answer incorrectly, you can lose $250. All right, Brian, as our returning champion, you will be in control to start the game. Please select a category from your orange board. I'll try Golden Boys Screen 1. Here's the question. Hands on your buzzers, please. Back in 1964, his bumper stickers read, In your heart, you know he's right. He lost his presidential bid, but served as a United States senator for more than 30 years. Name Barry Goldwater's home state. Brian. Arizona. Arizona is right for $250, and you're on the board. All right, Brian, let's choose another category, please. I'll try Golden Boys Screen 2. Here's the question. British agent James Bond not only had to save Fort Knox from the dastardly Auric Goldfinger, he also had to do battle with Goldfinger's hard-headed hatchet man. Name him. Brian. Odd job. Odd job is right for another $250. <laughs> Brian, you're on a roll here. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's just take a look at the board and select another category. Oh, okay. I'll try Golden Boys Screen 3. Pretty obvious place to go, and you are now going for a possible triple exposure. I want to remind your opponents you can buzz in and block this question. All right, hands on your buzzers. Here it is. To most of us, he's known as King Tut, but his full name was Tut Uncommon. He was just 10 years old when he became Pharaoh, and as a result, he's known by another title. Name it. KC. The Boy King. The Boy King is right, and you've blocked the triple exposure. $250 for you. Circle up on Brian's board, and now let us now move to your blue board. Take a look at the categories here and choose one for us, KC. Okay, I like nickname screen one. This man's business card read, 
used furniture dealer, but everybody knew him to be the world's most notorious mobster. What was his infamous nickname? KC. Scarface Capone. Scarface is right. Al Capone. That's right. For $250, you're on the board and tied for first place. KC, let's see if we can get some more of those blue circles up on your board. Maybe go for a triple exposure. Okay, Select let's try Motown Screen 3. In Animal House, John Belushi danced to a Barry Gordy tune recorded by the Kingsman. Name this party tune. KC. Louie Louie. Louie Louie is right. And you're now in the lead. $750. Casey, select another category, please. Let's try nickname screen three. Tennis star John McEnroe is known for his loud and abusive tirades and an incredibly long tongue there, too, it seems. He was once suspended for 21 days for bad language and verbal abuse. Name McEnroe's nasty nickname. Casey? The Brat. The Brat. That's right. Casey, you seem to be on a roll. Where would you like to go here? Well, let's try nickname screen two. All right, going for a possible triple exposure. Your opponents can block you on this. Listen carefully. Put your hands on your buzzers. During World War II, the Germans feared George Patton more than any other Allied general. His dogged determination to smash the Third Reich earned him an appropriately tough nickname. What is it? Peter. Oh, blood and guts. You got it. You got it. And you blocked the triple exposure. Nice job, Peter. And that's the strategy, of course, is to, to block it when it's almost there. It's now a chance to move over to your green board. You can set up the same kind of situation for yourself, Peter. Select a category for us. It's relative screen number one, please. Little Michael Douglas is on the right, and Father Kirk is in the center. Michael made it big as a movie producer when he bought the rights to a book that was owned by his father. Name the book that became a box office smash. Peter? One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Yes, indeed. And by the way, that's uh, his brother Joel on the left there. Joel Douglas. All right, Peter, you're catching up. Select another category for us, please. Uh, the Senate screen number three. Voters in Massachusetts sent his brothers, John and Teddy, to the United States Senate. But Robert Kennedy represented another eastern state in the upper house. Name that state. Brian. New York. New York is right for $250. All right, Brian, you're in control. Let us now move back to your orange board and select a category for us. I'll take Whistler's Screen 3. In the film, The Bridge on the River Kwai, the British soldiers whistled an upbeat tune as they marched snappily into a Japanese prison camp. Whistle that song. Brian? <laughs> Out of tune, but right on target. All right, for $250. We get a triangle of yours up in there. Good. All right. Now you're still in control of your orange board. Select a category for us. I'll try a triple exposure. So I'll take space screen screen two. All right. A possible triple exposure. Opponents, you can block this. Hands on your buzzers. Here's the question. He was the first astronaut to have appeared on a game show, and later the first astronaut to be elected to the Senate. But what was John Glenn's famous first in space? Brian. First man to orbit the Earth. We'll accept that. Okay. All right. You got it. The first American. The first American. All right. You've got the triple exposure. By the way, do you know what the game show was he was on? You bet your life uh -huh. with Groucho Marx. Hmm. All right, Brian, you have the triple exposure. You have a decision to make here. We're going to play the triple exposure bonus video. Once we've played it, we'll ask a question. Now, you can keep this question all to yourself, and it'll be worth $500, either up or down. Remember, you can lose here, all right? Or if you don't want to take that risk, no problem. You can let everybody play, and it'll be worth $250. The triple exposure bonus video is Olympic athletes. What do you want to do? I think I'll open it up. Everybody will play? Everyone. Yeah. This will be worth $250. Keep your eyes on the video screens. Now watch this. Watch this. Back up. I'll be right to the other bar. Has that been done before by Never. a girl? Never. Not by any human that I know of. Look at that. And she's second best. I don't believe it. This that is a historic performance you're watching right now in gymnastics. She's uh, Kathy Rigby's size. Oh, my. Wow. Wow is right. All right. When she was only 17, she stole the hearts of the judges when she won two gold medals in the 1972 Munich Olympics. For $250, name her. Casey? Olga Corbett. That's right. For $250, and you've got the triple exposure. Way to go. All right, KC, you're in control. Select a category on your blue board. Okay, let's try a triple exposure science screen three. All right, here's the question. Remember, opponents, you can block this triple exposure. 
This French scientist developed a purification process that destroys harmful bacteria in beer, wine, and milk. Name that process. Brian? Pasteurization. Pasteurization. It's Louis Pasteur. That's right. And that's the end of round one. And at the end of round one, our returning champion is in the lead with $1,500. KC behind at 12.50, and Peter, you're bringing up the rear at 500, but it could be an advantage in round two. We'll find out all about that as we return with more of Photo Finish right after this. Finish. Let's take a look at where our scores are from round one. Brian, of course, our returning champion in the lead with $1,500. Casey, not too far behind with $1,250. And Peter, bringing up the rear with $500. Now, I mentioned that could be important to you. I'll tell you about that in just a second. I want to remind you that in round two here, our photo finish computer selects the categories for you at random to make it a little bit more difficult. So we double the score for each correct answer. So each correct answer will be worth $500 hundred dollars in this round and our triple exposure bonus video will be worth one thousand dollars uh, you could also lose that amount too but I don't have to tell you that let's take a look at our categories now that were chosen randomly for you Brian on your orange board music men has been selected for you as the first category we've also chosen woman firsts and prisons all right KC for your blue board selected randomly for you were word names world leaders and churches all right peter we'll check your board now let's go over to the green board and selected for you were gender benders in the news and autofocus all right now here's the great part for you peter we begin round two with the person who is trailing so peter you will start you'll be in control please start round two select a category on your green board how about gender benders, screen number one? Okay. In Victor Victoria, Julie Andrews played a woman portraying a man portraying a woman. <laughs> now that I've confused you, name the man on the left who played a man. Peter. Robert Preston. Robert Preston is right. The music man. <laughs> Nicely done, Peter. That's an extra $500 for you. You're moving up quickly. Select another category, please. Uh, autofocus, screen number one. The sports car driven by secret agent James Bond came equipped with an ejector seat, machine gun ports, and a changeable license plate. What was the make of Bond's supercar? Peter. Aston Martin. Yes, indeed. Another $500 for you. Hey, listen, it's a great car, but it still had a cheap AM radio in it. Uh, do us a favor and check another category for us, please. Uh, I'm going to have to go for in the news screen number one. Okay, a possible triple exposure. And that's one of the great things about playing this game. You can block this, opponent, so keep your hands on your buzzers. Here's the question. In a highly publicized debate, Dan Quayle's political opponent said to the young Republican, you're no Jack Kennedy. Quayle, however, got the last laugh. Name Quayle's quotable opponent. Peter. Lloyd Benson. Lloyd Benson is right. You sound surprised, and you've got, you've got the people exposure. All right, Peter, as before, you have a decision to make here. I'm going to play the triple exposure bonus video for you, then we'll ask a question. Now, you can keep the video for yourself, and it can be worth up to $1,000. You could also lose that 1000 if you answer incorrectly. So if you don't want to take the risk, you can let everybody play for $500. The category for this triple exposure bonus video is Liz in Love. Uh, I'd, I'd better open it up to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want you to take a look at the video now. Wedding bells for the most beautiful teenager in the world. Excited fans see 18-year-old Elizabeth Taylor arrive at the Beverly Hills Church of the Good Shepherd to marry Conrad Hilton, Jr., heir to a fabulous hotel empire. Miss Taylor wears a $3,500 bridal gown. 20 yards of satin to set off a 21-inch waist. The onlookers press forward to see the bride. All right, that was her first marriage. But we'd like to know for $500, who was she last married to? Brian. John Warner. John Warner is right for $500. All right, we have a two-way tie for the lead. Brian, your chance to break out into the lead right now. Please select a category as we move to your orange board. I'll take prison screen three. It's known as The Rock. 
When it closed in 1963, its keepers could boast that no prisoner had ever successfully escaped this fortress. Name this prison. Brian? Alcatraz. Alcatraz is right for $500. You moved into the lead now. Select another category, please, from your orange board. Woman first, screen three. She's America's first female Supreme Court justice. Sandra Day O'Connor was appointed to the nation's highest court by what president? KC. Reagan. Ronald Reagan is right for $500. All right, KC, let's now move back to your blue board. Select a category for us. Okay, let's try churches screen two. A window washer could make a real nice living just keeping the shine on California's crystal cathedral. Name the television minister who preaches from its pulpit. KC. Robert Schuller. Robert Schuller is right for $500. And the blue circle will go there. Please select a category for us, Casey. Let's Casey. try church's screen number one. Let's try it. The people who worship in this great temple in Salt Lake City are called Mormons. But what's the official name of their religion? Brian? The Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints. That's more than we needed, and we'll take it. All right. Church of the Latter-day Saints. Good for you, Brian. $500. And you're in the lead now with $3,000. It's starting to get to be a tight game. Brian, select a category from your orange board, please. I'll take woman first, screen two. This feminist was a pioneer in the suffragette movement that won the right to vote for women. As a result, Susan B. Anthony became the first real woman to be depicted on an American coin. What coin? KC. A dollar coin. That's right. Silver dollar is right. All right. Good to you, KC. $500. Let's move to your blue board and select a category, please. Okay. Let's try world leaders screen two. Here's the question. When she appeared on the cover of Time magazine on January 5th, 1953, the publishers anointed Queen Elizabeth with a unique title for a queen. What was that title? Brian? Man of the Year. Man of the Year is right. <laughs> All right, Brian. Players, that sound you just heard was the two-minute warning. This is not a football game. This is a free-for-all. In fact, right now, any time you are in control, you can select from any color board. Make sure you let me know what color board you're choosing from first before you do. Brian, you're in control. Tell me what color board you want to choose from. From the blue board, I'll take one word name, screen three. Going for a possible triple play here. We want a little triple exposure action. Let's see what the question is. It is, the French emperor Napoleon once remarked, every time I see a throne, I have the urge to sit on it. <laughs> After he met his Waterloo, he was exiled to a tiny island where he died. Name the island. Brian. Elba. I'm sorry, that's not correct. KC or Peter? Peter. St. Helens. St. Helena is right. Excellent. You blocked that triple exposure. By the way, Elba was a place that he was exiled, exiled to, but he was exiled twice, and Helena was the island on which he died. All right, Peter, you're in control, so you can now select from any board. Please tell me which color you'd like. Green board, gender benders, screen three. Here's the question. When Flip Wilson puts on a dress, he becomes the obscene Geraldine. And when Geraldine gets obscene, she explains her behavior with a six-word excuse. What excuse? KC. The devil made me do it. That's right, for $500. All right, KC. You're in control now. You can select from any board. Which board would you like? Okay, let's try on the orange board, woman first, screen one. And we're going for a possible triple exposure once again. Your opponents can block this, so everybody, hands on your buzzers. Here's the question. She became England's first female prime minister. Margaret Thatcher has shown some steely determination in her dealings with the opposition Labor Party, and as a result, what nickname has Thatcher earned? The Iron Lady. The Iron Lady. Not kind, but perhaps very true. KC, you are still in control. Select from any board. On the orange board, prison screen number one. All right, here's the question. Located at Ossining, New York, Sing Sing Prison gave us the phrase, sent up the river. If you were sentenced to Sing Sing Prison, you were sent up what river? Brian. The Hudson. The Hudson is right for $500. All right, Brian. You're in control now, so you may select from any board. What color board would you like? The orange board, uh, prison screen two. Going for another possible triple exposure. Opponents can block hands on your buzzers. Johnny Cash recorded two live albums in prisons. One of the prisons was San Quentin. Name the other. KC. Folsom. Folsom Prison is right for $500. And you've blocked the triple exposure. All right, and that is the end of the round. And KC, you are the winner. You're in the lead, $3,750. Congratulations.
very, very close game. Brian, our returning champ from yesterday, thank you very much for playing. You came very close today. Better luck next time. You have a lot of money from yesterday's game, $4,500. All right. Peter, thanks a lot for playing. we got some great party gifts for you. Great, thank All you. All right, and we'll be back with our current champ now as she goes to round three, the final round on Photo Finish. Stay tuned. our photo finish round. KC, so far you won $3,750. And now you're playing for this. It's a brand new 1990 Mustang with a powerful fuel injected five-liter engine, the fabulous GTX convertible from Ford. Our audience loves that car, KC. <laughs> we hope you win it this time. Here's what happens. Nine pictures will appear across the top of our three boards. We're going to start with the orange board, and we'll move to the blue board, and we'll finish with the green board. Okay. Your job is to match up the names we show you with those nine pictures. And if you get all nine, you win the car. Okay. All right, you'll have two guesses at each picture. If you miss any one of them, don't worry about it. We'll go back for it if there's time at the end of the round. The category for today's uh, photo finish round is kid pics. All right, we're going to look at baby pictures. Okay. All right, you'll have 30 seconds. We'll stop the clock at the end of each board. So if you're ready, let's show you the first six names. Prince Charles, John Wayne, Clark Gable, Michael Caine, Humphrey Bogart, and Steve Martin. Let's set the clock. You're 30 seconds. Here comes the first picture. Go. Clark Gable. No. Humphrey Bogart. Yes. Prince Charles. Prince Charles is right. John Wayne. John Wayne is right. Stop the clock. All right. Very fast. Very good. This could be an easy one for you. This could be easy, but let's press on. Let's press on. Let's move to the second board now, and let's take a look at the six names. They are Lyndon Johnson, Dwight Eisenhower, George Bush, Harry Truman, Ronald Reagan, and Franklin Roosevelt. Are you ready? Ready. Go. Uh, Harry Truman. No. Dwight Eisenhower. Yes. Uh, Ronald Reagan. No. Franklin Roosevelt. Yes. Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan is right. Stop the clock. All right, Casey, let's move on to the third and final board. And let's take a look at the names. Can we have them, please? They are Gerald Ford, James Mason, Jimmy Carter, Dan Quayle, Winston Churchill, and Walter Mondale. All right, you're three photos away from a brand new 1990 Mustang convertible. Okay. But you have 14 seconds to do it in. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Go. Dan Quayle. No. Jimmy Carter. Yes. Winston Churchill. Yes. Uh, Walter Mondale. No. Gerald Ford. Yes. And you've got the car. Congratulations. All right. Congratulations. You've won the car, Casey. That makes your winnings for the day a total of $22,500. Be with us tomorrow when we'll meet three new players and ask questions about Madonna, Dan Quayle, and Mickey Mouse. This is John Major for Photo Finish. See you then. Congratulations. All right, let's just take a look at the beautiful car. If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more and check out my Facebook page for other exciting content.